Hi, I'm Lisa Givens. This is my caregiver confession. I'm not seeing my friends. A really common situation for caregivers. You have a tendency to get a little bit isolated. Sometimes it just seems like too much trouble to get together with your friends. Or maybe you feel they can't understand what you're going through anyway. Some friends may actually drop you. And that's okay because not all of your friends are going to be able to take this trip with you. We all have limits. This is a tough journey. And oftentimes friends don't know how to be around us. I had one friend of mine that said, you know, I want to be there for you, but I've never had a situation like this. I don't know what to do. And so we made a deal. When I call you, just listen. I just want to vent. I need a safe place to put all my frustrations and all my anger and all my concerns. So I would go through the whole laundry list. You know, my sister didn't do this and my brother said that. I'm worried about money, everything. And at the end of the call, I would feel better. You know, caregivers are more vulnerable to depression. And a strong social network, good, solid friendships can be a great buffer against that. So when your friends want to know what to do, give them something specific. I had a buddy of mine that would just take long walks with me. And our arrangement was we weren't going to talk about anything. We were just going to be there in blissful silence because I would get so overloaded about the challenge. So whatever it is for you, be aware that you need your friends. They're a great lifeline. And reach out for support. At caring.com, you'll find a lot of resources, strategies, tools, and tips how to navigate your caregiver journey. You're not alone.